Hey, in this video, we're going to do an in-depth analysis of Kobe Bryant's shooting form. Let's start off by looking at Kobe Bryant's stance. You will most often see him shooting with a wide base, and he usually has his knees pointing inwards. Here you can see that Kobe leads with his shooting side. This means that because he shoots with his right hand, his right shoulder, hip, and foot will be further in front than his left side. When he shoots, his shooting shoulder, elbow, and hip are aligned. His forearm is slightly bent towards his shooting eye. He knows the code, it's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, Tuck's picking it up. Let's go. He creates this alignment before he shoots by slightly turning his feet towards his non-shooting side. He's right-handed, so he turns his feet slightly to the left. Kobe takes a lot of difficult shots where sometimes his shooting or dominant side is facing away from the basket. When this happens, he turns while he's in the air to bring his shooting shoulder forward and only releases the ball once his shooting side is aligned towards the net. Off the pass, he dips the ball to his waist before rising up to shoot. There is no need for him to dip the ball off the dribble because he's already low and ready to shoot. Kobe's set point is much higher and further back than most players. At his set point, the middle of the ball is directly above his head. His elbow is about at forehead level and the ball is above his right eye. Because his elbow is already so high, when he shoots he's pushing the ball more forward than upward, which gives him less arc on his shot. Kobe gets a lot of elevation on his shot and is considered to be a two motion shooter. This means that he has a significant pause in his shot before pushing the ball forward. You can see here that he doesn't start pushing the ball towards the net until he's already in the air and releases right at the peak of his jump. Even though he is a two motion shooter with a high set point, he still reaches his set point before his feet leave the ground. Kobe tries to keep a gap between the ball and his palm when he shoots. He places his hand on top of the ball and spreads out his index and middle finger. If you look closely here, you can see him spreading out his index and middle finger to make a wide V. Kobe dominates with his index finger. You can see here that his index finger goes down the most, while the other three fingers stay up. In spite of the fact that some people still think that they know, but no, he knows the code. It's not about the salary, it's all about reality and making some noise, making a story, making sure his click stays up. That means when he puts it down, Tuck's picking it up. Let's go. Because his elbow starts off at forehead level, after he releases, his arm is straight and his elbow is very high above his head. He brings his offhand very close to his shooting hand so that his two thumbs make a T. He starts to remove his offhand as he begins to extend his shooting arm. Kobe's shooting 
drop mega death, took him to church. I like bleach, man. Why you had the stupidest verses? Do this the truth. Now everybody giving them guest spots and stocks through the roof. I heard he them with that Kobe's shoulders go back on his shot. So while he's in the air, this causes his feet to sweep forward. The shoulders swaying back and the feet sweeping forward is what the guys at Pro Shot call the sweep and sway. Kobe keeps his eyes on the rim for the whole shot. Here you can see that his eyes are locked on the target until the ball goes in. Hey guys, thank you for watching and thanks for your support so far. I'm gonna start posting videos every Thursday, so make sure you subscribe so that you know exactly when the video's out. And uh, let me know in the comments what you wanna see in the future. Thanks. Yo, Elliot!